Hey guys, HH Blue Dynamite, the number two has been blue, is back again for another gaming of um a little game that's called The Hospital. It's by I, the, uh, the, the the people who did it says just pop up. I think it's Crux Game Studios. And it's a 3D-esque sort of deal. And a not very long game, at least I don't think it is. It said like 20 or 30 minutes, so. Uh, new game? Options, let me see options. I think everything's okay. Credits, Crux Game Studios. <laughs> um, give this person some love. Let's see how, how this game plays out. Game. Best experience with headphones. Crux. Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep it this way. virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who who get only mild symptoms and recover quickly, but my condition grew worse day by day. I think this is somewhat based off of the pandemic. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. I was very much lucky because I very much had uh, COVID, but because I had the vaccine, it wasn't wasn't as bad. Oh, I was miserable though. So I can only imagine what this person is going through. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I'm become a number, a, st a statistic. I can never say that word right. Just check and see if I'm still recording. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate, intubate me if my condition got worse. What if I didn't make it? It would be a horrible way to die alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. That's one of those things where you don't really think about it until it starts happening to you. I'm feeling weak, so weak. I think I'll sleep now. can barely breathe. The fact that the fetus just there just bothers me. I'm not sure if that's something they have to do. Um, but that's a very, very, very minor nitpick. I hate having my feet, un uh, uncovered. Ooh, am I having an out-of-body experience? I'm up? How am I on my feet? Up on my feet. I don't remember getting out of bed. Hint, walk around with the WASD keys, look with your mouse, observe your surroundings by clicking the objects in the world. I don't have a mouse connected to here. I'm going to have to use my uh, little pad here. Hit the game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. Lovely. Uh, oh. Kind of wish I had a mouse now. to be locked. Well, not working. Ooh, the person out there. Maybe a doctor. It didn't look like a doctor. It looked, it looked like a chicken just in a bra. It is a smart thing to do. 
I wonder if I'm having an out-of-the-body experience. Uh, just sideways. Where's everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. Yeah, I think you may be like you're in some sort of limbo, purgatory sort of deal. I keep thinking going left and right is going to let me turn. Locked, that's odd. There are no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I've seen numbers when I checked in. See, I, I'm so used I with the idea that left and right lets you turn. Locked. <laughs> Seals just like the others. This might make things a little bit more eerie, just the fact that I don't have a mouse mouse. Okay, let's see here. Well, let's... I'm not sure if I can run. Did I just hear another set of footsteps? Locked. Strange. There are no signs. I could I could swear that there were signs beside these doors. Car cardiology. Obst obstetrics. Radiology. Etc. Why are the windows a pock? I can't see a thing through them. Like a stone? I don't know what that word was. I feel I feel uneducated. <laughs> Again, I'm 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 used to the idea that the left and right can help you turn. Ah. Uh, when I checked in here, struggling to breathe, there were two hurried but kindly nurses sitting behind his desk, entering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. I, I imagine. I didn't see much of um, that 70s shows, but one of, probably one of my favorite quotes from like the mom, I think her name's like Cat, is that the kind of nurses, they prevent doctors from accidentally killing you. <laughs> Not that simple. <laughs> no luck. Didn't these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? That would be that would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. Oh ho, ho, ho. I knew that was gonna happen at one point. <laughs> and by the way, you're a liar. And you're green, so you're a double liar. Can I run? Or just walk? So I guess we have to go this way. Oh, yes, lovely. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's probably less scary because it's still daylight, clearly. It's like 12 something, or after 12 something around here where I live. Um, I would love to do this at night, but people would be asleep. So. I guess that depends. Um, maybe if, like, when nights are longer, maybe that might be a different story. I can't wait for autumn. Locked. I know that that's pretty much saying, like, hi, come this way, please. But I want to check. Uh, uh. Are these patient wars? Am I in a loop? Why are they deserted? There's got to be someone, a nurse a, or a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. I think you're in a different dimension, buddy. 
blocked. What? <laughs> right? Somebody knows how this door? I knew it was gonna be, it's gonna happen at some point. Oh. That's either blood or poop. This looks like the room I was in. But it's a mess. It's either blood or poop. How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed. What? It didn't care, scare me that much. <laughs> that figure. The sound like came from out there. Just checking. Figures on the TV. It reminded me of. No, it can't be. It must be imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having. My body lies in some kind of coma. Or that. That works too. Either that you're dead. Just looking behind me. getting me that bad anymore I guess my like my fear is not really like much of jump scares it's more like body contortions that's part part of the reason why that the conjuring freaks me out more also I'm not sure you guys can hear that but that does not sound like bare feet sounds like you're wearing shoes Oh, oh. Of course. And there was a whisper. Who shut the door? Was that a corpse in there? This was a dream that's growing increasingly disturbing. Is this like a PT sort of deal? Like you're in a loop? Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? The figure I saw. It can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare, rather, rather in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Who is it? Like, I'm confused. Like, girlfriend, sister, cousin, wife? I don't even know who you are. want to see if I can go back. Nope, I can't. Like, I think that's what happened with PT. I've seen people play it. Like, if you go back, it might do something different. But now it's different. <laughs> what? Right? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture, the way they're arranged, this is like the apartment where we used to live, except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table. Hi. It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Nia, is that you? This is real, I'm dreaming. Oh, do I pick? That familiar silence. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. 
the doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life had I done things differently? And at what cost? I couldn't have saved you, Nia. Only cold silence. Hi! Nia? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seen by my past while my body lies wasting on a hospital bed? Fever dreams are no joke. I'm just saying. had taken it out by the beach just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of a mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent shifts in temper, temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, and obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her to get help, but she refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to us both, I ended our relationship. And then it got worse, a lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed staring at me. Her dark, empty, eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. And when I saw what, what she was holding in her hand, uh-oh. I can't run, so I don't think it's like a survival thing. I think it's more story driven. Oh, jeez. It's like I'm half expecting to see something behind there. <laughs> Maybe it is like purgatory, like limbo. If you guys are hearing like crying, it's my niece. I think it's her nap time. I don't know why I try. I mean, it will tell me if I can go over there. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. body here. The stench here is horrible. I should move on. You're gonna come alive. I just know it. You're gonna come alive. You know what? Let's, um, let's do this. I'm trusting you. Paranoid. Leave me alone. That's a budge. Oh! <gasps> okay, that got me. That got me. It. She. She's doing this. I don't even know how. She's toying with me. I must find a way out of this nightmare. Is it open? Is it open? Yes, it's open. Let me out. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's another body over there. I think. I think. Body bag. Corpse. What moved? Who moved? Was it you? <laughs> okay, I take it back. I take it back. I started to freak out now. <laughs> Who's moving? Hi, hi, uh, are you dead? I mean, 
Well. Um. That night four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappling the blade away and it subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institution, an institute, a mental hospital. A week later, I got the terrible call. Mental illness is no joke. No joke. W probably worse than physical trauma. Because at least you can, like, heal from that. Like, virtually no time. Well, mm, depends on how grievous the injury is. But the, um, mental toll of it, that would probably be like, probably should have seen that coming. Nia. Oh God, why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me what you wrote on your note, your last words. <laughs> what do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could, why are you tormenting me? I think it's, I mean, Could have had her help her have help. Maybe I don't know. I have never been in this sort of relationship. I have never been in this sort of situation. What do you want from me? I think of that note you left, the last word you ever wrote. Hi. You wrote, "I'm never going to let you go." I know those words were meant for me. Okay, I think I get it now. Um. This person's dying. And in that little, like, precipice between life and death, Nia is, like, you know, keeping them in one place. Is that what this is about? What if that if I've done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive? Excuse me. I'm back in my room. I, I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Nia. Uh, let's turn around. You know, it would be kind of interesting if it shows like... I haven't been to hospitals often enough. Like, say, visiting somebody to know what these two mean. But I mean, I know when it's zero, it's like, you're dead. Well, am I still trapped in this nightmare? I mean, you're well. How, do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital, smiling faces tell me I'm better, I can go home? Or shadowy halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that's wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt? Or am I dead, and this is my afterlife? These de dread walls, a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity. I mean, I don't think... That's it? I guess that's it. Um, that was one heck of experience. Actually, got me a couple of times. Um, 
like usually it's not really like jump scares that really get me that much especially if it's like becomes a little bit more predictable in a sense but um from my understand from what i'm getting out of this whoever this person was they were in a relationship with a woman named nia and at some point nia starts suffering from some type of mental illness no, it's not i know it's not schizophrenia because i don't think it's anything about hallucinations um maybe psychosis i don't know um well paranoia probably like a very severe form of paranoia um I don't think like I have never been in a relationship never had a boyfriend never had a girlfriend all that jazz uh, so I don't know I don't understand the struggles or personally understand the struggles of having a significant other like in that aspect of having to deal with a mental illness now granted personally like in a familial sense uh i think that actually happened with me i was going through a lot during the during the pandemic like uh two years ago and i my mind was in some pretty dark places and i was lucky enough to have people around me who made sure i don't do anything i regret and and maybe that's the thing that's got me with this and, and it's like this person couldn't handle like this stress that like the danger this, that the Aenea starts to pose with them and left. I think obviously that did more harm than good. I feel like I mean I can understand leaving the relationship but at the same time it's like at least get her help first. Make contact with her with her family let him know that like something's going on with her um but I mean, this is really good this was fantastic for um a little indie game uh please go check out crux game studios uh on itch.io i forgot to say that i'm not sure if i even said it right there but this was very much amazing um I hope for just good things for this person and you know care for your loved ones especially if they're going through a lot um, try to do every try to do everything your parent you're like you're you're I'm not saying like uh, go above and beyond go beyond um, like do things that you are able to do in your current ability like be there for them all that uh well that was surprisingly deep now come and think about it i mean i knew it kind of was going to tackle these type of topics from the uh discussion stuff but yeah mental illness is like a very hard thing to uh, combat especially when you have people who have to deal with those for years um but yeah, this was good. I hope everyone has a nice day. And please stay tuned for more. Bye.